talking with Ty on Yak and Tech. Hey, this is Chad Hoover from KayakBassFishing.com and Hook One Kayak Fishing Gear. You're watching Yak and Tech. Today, on the line, we've got Chad Hoover from KayakFishingGear.com. All right, Chad, so which event is first? KBF Open is the first event. Okay. And the reason that the KBF Open is first is because it's open to all anglers. Uh, anybody that wants to enter it can enter it. We are going to do a two-day event. It's going to start on a Thursday, and everybody that enters is going to fish. We're going to cut the field to the top 50. The top 50 will move on to the second day. Do you have a date on it? Oh, that's March 14th. So the first day is March 14th. The second day is March 15th. So the open will be March 14th and March 15th. Okay. Uh, the raffle slash award ceremony slash giveaway will be that second night. So there's some incentive for folks who didn't qualify for the second day to hang around. Um, there's going to be exhibits, a demo day, a little youth tournament on Friday and today. Where's the location for the Kayak Bass Fishing Open? It's going to be in Santa Cooper, South Carolina. Uh, the, the, the exact venue for the captain's meeting, the barbecue, the demo day, all of that will be released on the kayakbassfishing.com. Uh, website as well as on the KBF or Kayak Bass Fishing Open Facebook page. How do you spell that location? It is Fanti, F-A-N-T-E-E, Cooper, C-O-O-P-E-R. Uh-huh. And uh, the closest city in the city that's going to play host to the event is going to be Monk's Corner, South Carolina. And that's, it's a world famous big bass fishery. Uh, located in South Central, um, South Carolina, right off easy access from I-95. It's about a 60,000 acre impoundment. Lots of shallow water, lots of stumps, lots of water that's inaccessible by power boats. Uh, world famous for monster bass. Lots of places you can get into and get into the skinny water where the big bass boats can't go. We set it up for March. That's usually when the big females are moved shallow. They're either pre-spawn or, or, or fully moved into the spawning phase. You know, you'll get to find bass upwards of 12, uh, even 13 and a half, 14 pounds. We're going to be fishing in the southern lake, the Lake Moultrie. Um, it's the rooty, stumpy, grassy, lily pad, covered, um, backwards slough. That's kind of the perfect location for big bass to move shallow for spawn. And it's the perfect location for kayak fishermen to get in there and get into places where boaters can. Right on. If we had 300 anglers, you're talking about over $15,000 in cash. Wow. That the first place winner is going to walk away from the event with uh, a premium paddle from Bending Branches, a wilderness systems fishing kayak, uh, PFD, you know, NRS, UTI, their choice, uh, dry gear. We're going to keep adding prizes. But we're going to make this thing the biggest thing there is. Chad, so why do you have the KBF open and the Invitational back-to-back? Folks are going to be traveling from all over the country, and I wanted to minimize the, the the travel, the time off work, the time away from home. So, what the KBF Open is is it's actually also a qualifier event for the KBF Invitational. What I mean by that is we're going to fish everybody the first day, cut the field to 50 the second day, and the top 10 out of that 50. Not only do they win prizes, and not only do they you know, take on some cash for finishing first in the Open, you know, through 10th in the Open. But they're also going to qualify to move on to the Invitational. Now, because first through 10 move on to the Invitational for a shot at the big money, we're going to be doing prizes from 10th out to 20th place in the Invitational. I'm sorry, in the Open. So that way, not just the people that qualify for the Open or qualify for the Invitational through the Open walk home with a bunch of money and a bunch of gear. So it's a unique twist, I think, on the format for kayak fishing tournament. Yeah, it's cool. Entry key and your registration can be done through going to kayakbassfishing.com, clicking on the store button. All right, Chad, so tell us about who's sponsoring these events. Well, Tom, we'll be honest with you, man. I'm a little bit hesitant to announce all the sponsors, but I will tell you a few of them. The Wilderness Systems is on board. Okay. Bending Branches Paddle, who's come on uh, in a huge way. We've got Columbia Sportswear, uh, Scoutlook Weather, Gary Yamamoto Custom Bait as part of the sponsorship package. Uh, Secret Weapon Lures, um, Livingston Lures, right there out of San Antonio where you're at has come on board. All right, uh, Eric cool. and the guys over there have been great. They, they make some great products. Uh, I caught quite a few fish on their uh, Pro Sizzle and, uh, and uh, on their Lipless Crank this, this past week. Ty, why don't you do them, uh, do us a favor and tell those guys uh, what your discount code is and hook one so they can save a little bit of money. 
If you guys need any kayak fishing gear, make sure you check it out at kayakfishinggear.com. And if you use code word 30 miles out, you'll get 10% off your next purchase. So check it out. All right, Ty, thanks for the support. Hey, I'm looking forward to seeing all you guys this for you at the KPF Open, KPF Invitational, South Carolina. Big fat action in shallow water. I think it's going to be a kayak fishing party as well as uh, some of the, the, the biggest prizes and the most money ever awarded in our sport. 30 Miles Out viewers in. Check it out, 30milesout.com. Hey guys, use code word 30 miles out and get 10% off your entire purchase at kayakfishinggear.com.